Who's, oh, is that Kike? Yeah, Kike. Who, Jose is TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jose is TV. <laughs> better than Jose B. Is it connected? It should be a flash. Say better than Jose B. Yeah. Jose, Jose B. And they're watching, they're literally watching Tokyo. That's really? Here, I'm, I'm gonna charge my phone. Is that Tokyo? All right. Yeah. Nice. Oh, All right, guys, let's go. Got a lot of really good guys in them this week, yeah? Yeah, we do. We do. It's good. Uh, just a good group of guys. Last week we had uh, Joe McKenna. This week we got uh, Devin Turner from Indiana, uh, Anthony Wesley, uh, Seth Gross. Nope. Obviously, we got Paul Petrov, our, uh, our main steady <laughs> workhorse. Yeah, he's here all the time. Yeah. We're looking forward to a good week. We're going to hit a lot of different positions. We're a couple weeks out from a uh, tournament in um, Bulgaria, so. Uh, We'll just see how it goes. So hopefully hit a lot of intense situations all week. So.
<laughs> he went for the lace too, bro. He went for it. That Stefan's old thing he gave me. Oh, now he's coming. Knee slide. Knee slide. A6 shoes. One Adidas sock, one Nike sock. I thought you were going to. What's change. wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like my socks just go everywhere. I don't even know. I'm going to have to be dishing in the front. Let me die. It's over. Sometimes it's just a little touch. Bro. See what I'm saying? I know. I'm just trying to map the muscle. Right. But I'm just giving you that. That's what will happen. I love it. Oh, I like that. You see how it's like they don't. They they they're they're so worried about you clubbing them again with this side, uh, on that side, and then they, they they then you can then you can go for both of you guys. There's a lot of guys like the Gooey and those guys. You know, you go to club, club, head pull, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. All of a sudden you go, I'm touching here, they're gonna go here, and then all of a sudden you real quick. That's a real good setup right there. Just telling you, that's probably a setup for a head pull. Not like that. You pull this hand up and then you use yeah, it as exactly. a tilt. Thank you. I don't know. What do you guys think? I like that. I like that. I never mess with the lace much. I think just using it as a setup and then if, if they don't do anything, the lace is there. What's up, man? What's up, bro? You been good? Good. How are you? Good, How are you? Good, man. I've been good. Ah, my lower back hurts, man. I was doing a workout like. You know, I, I don't know, I do least pressure on my back and that hurt. It's trying to lift again. You got, the hair, you got the hair down today, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Who do you want first, Seth or me? Hey, this, this is sweet. Okay, yeah, this is sweet. He's got something. Got big, big people up in here. I'm not just talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys wrestling the finals? Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. We wrestled first match of the year that year and last match. Of the yeah, year. we wrestled so we the like the we, we wrestled like the All Star Classic. And he got me both times. I always tell people I felt so ready for my match, uh, like for the, to win. And then the way that the match just happened it was like I, I and and afterwards the hardest part actually was like you know what I, I hey I did my best because literally I got caught in that wrist, got the tilt, and that you, you got the tilt and we're up and I was like dude this just. This is going to be tough to come back from. I wrestled awesome the rest of the match. Um, and then, yeah, it was just the hardest part was just like knowing that, like, and you were in the same situation because you had made the finals as a sophomore the year before yeah, yeah. and lost to Corey Clark yeah. and was probably like, man, I got to do this all again to make the yeah. finals and then you fall short. That was honestly the worst part about it. But overall, it was a pretty, like, for, you know, for losing in a respectable match, like, 
you know, the only reason I was mad about it because it was like I was this close. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know how you felt about it after you won. I mean, you won, so yeah, that's yeah, just. Yeah. 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 How do you I feel just... like I hit the lotto with me on it, bro? And like you said, it was just like honestly such a huge relief, just because it was like after me, you know, getting second the year before, and like. I thought I had that one for sure. Like the two dudes I beat in the quarter and semis against like the URS of Clark, like I majored both of them yeah. and he, they had both beaten Clark like the last two weeks of season. So I was like, man, I got this. And I just, I never got tired of my life and I got exhausted that match. I think it was just like a mental thing. And, Probably nerves, you think? Yeah, yeah so big then stage. It, yeah, 100%. So then it was just like that next year, just like, I don't know, I almost had like, I was like almost overly obsessed with kind of at the time, and it's like it, I was I was obviously fired up to win, but like when I when I did, it was just like I just felt relief, like a weight lifted off of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was nervous. I, I felt like yeah after after that uh, match with Tariq, and he that would he, I don't know that dude wrestled a heck of a tournament. And then you had a good, good tournament match, good tournament. Because he tournament. ended up majoring everybody else, I think, besides me. <laughs> you and Pletcher, he beat Pletcher for third and fourth, too. He smashed him. He smashed him. Smashed him. I was like, man. And that's like, I, I thought I was wrestling Cade Brock again in the semis because he had he had Pletcher, he had Tariq, and he beat Tariq, I think, uh, Tech, Tech Tariq earlier that year. So I was like, oh, I got Cade Brock, and then all of a sudden it was Tariq Willis, and I think that kind of threw me off, too. And, uh huh. Yeah, I get it. That was a crazy bracket, man. That was. that was. For me, the hardest thing was that, and it was like, okay, well, I got two years. Um, at least I was like, at least I'm gonna have one more year before my that Olympic red shirt in my yeah. mind. Yeah. Um, the hardest thing was the year afterwards when you ended up getting injured, and then I was like, I was on fire. My, like that was my year. Didn't didn't lose a match. Beat everybody. The only one I didn't wrestle was Fix, but I knew I was gonna would beat Fix if I wrestled him. Um, and then I, but I was just, I just was on fire. And then uh, that my knee with my PCL injury from that summer just pre wasn't healed up like all the way. So it just, it, I hurt my MCL too close to the tournament. And just that was such a bummer because the only takedown I gave up was to Suriano yeah, uh, on my bad leg. And it like kind of ended where I landed in a, yeah. you know, like a Turk position where I couldn't move off of it. And uh, that just. You, what did you do on the backside? Actually? I ended up getting third, but That's it was kind of like it was kind of like uh, like by the third day t though, like the third the, the after because wrestled surrounded by the third day, um, you kind of have a little bit more like um, like comfortability with yeah. you know you you ease into your that injury a little yeah. more. When did you guys become like friends? I'm sure you guys didn't. Exchange, exchange numbers oh, probably night. around like after COVID, we started talking more often because we, you know, we always, I, we always had respect for competitors. I feel like okay. yeah. it was never like a bad situation, and oh, we got, I think we both get positive reviews from other everywhere else from each other. You know, yeah, 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 I think it's cool too. We got, I mean, not not super similar styles, the same body types and kind of you know goers and a lot of offense. So you guys, I've have always liked watching them. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I think Seth has a little, I think we're both kind of, like, we're both long attack style. Seth has a little more unorthodox, like, scrambling abilities than me, but um, we both have our, you know, our own our own things that, you know what I mean, yeah. that, we're, that we're both good at. Um, and, you know, so Seth wrestled for the U.S. the year in 2022. I was bronze at the weight below, and he was 61 kilos, which is the weight above me mm -hmm. uh, for Worlds. He got fifth, so he had a really, really good tournament too. He, he probably should have medaled. It just I was kind of the, yeah. I lost this. The dude he beat in the finals beat me in the semis. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. Doesn't matter, buddy.